defense has rested its case in the murder trial against Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. Closing arguments are set to begin Monday, and in another courtroom twist, one Navy SEAL was granted immunity to testify in Gallagher's defense. News 8's Heather Hope has the latest from Naval Base San Diego. Heather? And the defense made arguments to the judge today, saying that they wanted two Navy SEAL leaders to be able to be granted immunity to testify on their behalf. But the judge only granted one, a lieutenant commander, that opportunity to be granted immunity. And he's one who's known Chief Eddie Gallagher for several years. Over the past two weeks, you got to see it all. Yeah, everything in this trial went as well or better than we could possibly have expected. The defense in the murder trial for Navy SEAL Chief Eddie Gallagher rested its case. Now that all the evidence is in, we're going to take the weekend to prepare for closings. Earlier in court, the judge denied granting immunity for Lieutenant Jake Portier, but did grant immunity for Lieutenant Commander Robert Prish, who testified for the defense. Prish said he knows Gallagher well, and the two deployed together in 2017. He said no one in the platoon ever came to him about Gallagher stabbing a detainee or shooting an old man and young girl. Prish says all the grumblings he heard about Gallagher were petty, about Gallagher stealing sunglasses and monster energy drinks. But the prosecution asked Prish why after seven months of complaints about Gallagher, did he not open an investigation? Or when having evidence of a reenlistment photo taken with a dead detainee, did he not report it? Brish said he didn't think he had to. You know, we planned for all of this. The prosecution did not. We investigated this case. The prosecution and NCIS did not. Chief Gallagher, his brother, and wife Andrea left the courtroom pleased. No matter how much preparation the government had put into this case, the one thing that they can't get over is the fact that Eddie Gallagher is not guilty. Gallagher's attorneys and the attorneys for the prosecution will meet right back here tomorrow for a closed session for the judge. Then come on Monday, the jury will then begin to hear closing arguments in this case. Back to you. All right, Heather, thanks.